Canis familiaris, more commonly known as the dog. Noble, loyal, proud. For centuries, these canine companions have long since lived up to their reputations as man's best friend. Oh, who are we kidding? They're just dogs. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fred Willard. We're here at a local dog park to learn all about dogs. Oh, who left that? Oh, well. You know, these beautiful animals have been around for literally millions of years, so I think we should start out with a brief history to get you up to speed. Many scientists believe that all dogs are descendants of wolves. Yes, even you, little guy. It's also believed that dogs became pets more than 10,000 years ago. Salukis and greyhounds are among the oldest known dog breeds. They were bred by the ancient Egyptians for protection and to help hunt for food. I love a story with food in it. Today, dogs come in all shapes and sizes. Most dogs, over 150 different breeds, are grouped into just seven categories. These groups are sporting, hound, terrier, toy, non-sporting, herding, and working. Oh, you again. This dog wants very much to be on television. He claims he can do a fantastic trick. Can you sit up and put your paws like that? Well, you can. All right, thank you very much. We're seeing a lot of dogs today. OK, good, thank you. And now, the sporting group. Guess what? Lady's a sporting dog. In fact, she's a Cocker Spaniel. But I'll bet you already knew that. Oh, and we're all very impressed. These dogs play a lot more than just fetch. They also play basketball. Well, we know at least one that does. But above all, they love to hunt. Sporting dogs were originally bred to fetch and bring back fallen game. We was only having a bit of sport, we was. The loyalty and friendship of sporting dogs is truly beyond compare. Now, this looks like the kind of dog you'd see pulling a bobsled. Miniature bobsled. Are they less expensive when they're small? She cost me about 2,200 bucks. Wow. Woof! Woof! I must not be speaking her language. And now, the hound group. I'm a hound dog. Hound dogs' expert tracking abilities have been helping humans for hundreds of years. Some hounds track better with sight, while others prefer smell. Hounds that track using sight have great vision and include fast running dogs like greyhounds. Greyhounds are so fast, they can reach speeds up to 45 miles per hour. All dogs have a great sense of smell, but hounds that track by scent have some of the best sniffers in the world. I think I'm on to something. If a pot of stew is cooking on the stove, we can smell the stew. But most dogs can smell the beef, carrots, potatoes, and all the other individual ingredients. Hey, where are you going? I want to find out what that smell is. Can you smile for the camera? Can you smile? These dogs are so clean looking. Are they washable, or do you send them out to the dry cleaners, or what? Uh, no, like just a smile. Just... There you go. And here's the ball. There you go. Labradors. I lost the... Can you smile? <laughs> this is her best side, actually. Yes, yes. And, and that's true for a lot of us. <laughs> Get ready for a terrier group. Dogs in this group are usually feisty, energetic, and thrive on attention. They love to chase and hunt and are fantastic diggers. Terriers were originally bred to hunt rats and other small vermin. But although they're fiercely loyal to their families, they don't get along too well with other animals. Mongrel! But don't let their small size fool you. They are strong, active, and surprisingly agile. It's a wee bit slippery. Terriers often have a strong personality and usually have a stubborn streak to match. Off with you, new. Off with you. Off with you. But behind that rough exterior lies a heart of gold. Now, does she do any particular tricks? If you drop a piece of food and then you tell her to leave it, she won't touch it. She won't even look at it. Wow, that's a tough trick. Now, I'm going to put that down and tell you to leave it. Just leave it. She's doing it, yeah. <laughs> now you can eat it. <laughs> no, she just didn't care for it either way. So there you go. I, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't eat it myself. Does he mix well with other dogs? Oh, yeah. Well, he's not neutered, so. Neutered? No, I'm not sure. What does a neutered mean? Oh, oh good heavens. Well, uh, <laughs> well, aren't you a lucky dog? And now, the toy group. 
Toy dogs have been considered symbols of status and wealth throughout civilization. This group represents the smallest of all dogs. Chihuahuas and pugs are just a couple of popular toy-sized versions of man's best friend. Cute little rascals. Toy dogs have it easy. Their main job is to keep their owners entertained. They are ideal dogs for living in crowded cities where space is hard to come by. But don't let their small size fool you. Many toy dogs are tough as nails. Come on, man, you guys gonna scare me? Come on, I'll kill your boys, man. Come on, let me... I think it's safe to say that these dogs definitely bark much bigger than they bite. <gasps> well, here's a dog that looks exactly like the tramp. I think I scared her a bit. What's her name? Susie. Susie, hi, Susie. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you bite me, I've got a microphone. Yeah, you're I'll bad smart, mouth you? you for days. Where did you girls get that mouse? Oh, oh, it's not a mouse. It's a little. Hey! Look hey. <laughs> at me. Why? I, I should pretend I'm scared. Wait a minute, I'm determined to make this dog love me. He's taken to me, I can tell. Oh, I don't even want to pet him. There you go. Nice dog. Nice dog. Okay. Coming up next, the non sporting group. Poodles, Dalmatians, and Bulldogs are a couple of the more popular dogs in the non sporting group. These dogs may have formerly been bred to work or hunt, but now are raised primarily as house pets. I really am. The non-sporting group is very diverse. It contains big dogs, small dogs, dogs with lots of hair, and some with very little. Speaking of hair, did you know that Dalmatians are born with pure white hair? No spots. No spots at all. What a horrid little white rat. Ugh. They'll have their spots in a few weeks. She's right, Cruella. Dalmatian spots won't appear until about two weeks after they're born. Little rascal. Let's go. Let's see. This is, what kind of dog is this? She's a miniature dachshund. Miniature dachshund. How do you get them so long? Do you, do you get them it's... warm and stretch them? <laughs> and and she's like her? a little hot dog, isn't she? Yeah, it's, she is. Yeah. Put a little mustard on her and put her between some buns. Very what kind is friends. that? That's a strange... Uh... He's a pug. Don't be bashful. I mean, some people think that's a beautiful face. Iron those wrinkles right out. He looked delightful. Bringing it in with the herding group. Collies and sheepdogs are a couple of the dogs that make up the herding group. Herding dogs are fiercely loyal and protective. One collie once traveled over 2,000 miles to find his family after he became lost. By George. Another unique characteristic of dogs in this group is their uncanny ability to control the movement of other animals. Come along, Tibbs, on the double. Yes, sir. Right, sir. A single sheepdog can drive an entire flock of sheep across a countryside all by himself. Dogs in the herding group are agile, swift, good jumpers, and most importantly, very intelligent. <laughs> and of course, who could forget this famous scene? I mean, just look at them. Oh, last but not least, the working group. Some dogs are known for their loyalty some for their playfulness, others their intelligence. But the working breed, they're best known for their bravery. The St. Bernard, for instance, has rescued more than 2,000 mountain travelers. In fact, his sense of smell is so excellent that he can find a person even under many feet of snow. Dogs from this group are also unusually big and strong. Why don't you pick on someone your own side? For hundreds of years, working dogs have also been of great assistance to law enforcement. Another working dog, the Doberman Pinscher, was first bred by Louis Doberman, a German tax collector who needed a bodyguard. It's party time. Working group dogs make great companions thanks to their courage and unselfish nature. Well, it's been quite a day at the dog park. You call it a day gone to the dogs. And my thanks to all the dogs who participated. This is Fred Willard saying, love your dog. Say goodbye. Say bye to the world's tiniest dog. <laughs> we hope you don't get lost out here in the park, and we hope nobody steps on you. This will make him look larger. <laughs> See, now that's a big dog. That's pretty big, huh? <laughs> He's as big as he can be.